Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. How are you doing today? It is Wednesday. On Wednesdays, we normally speak with the RAI mom, Anna Kelly. Uh, but as I mentioned in the Daily Financial News, she is out and about with her family, creating some memories. Uh, her oldest is just going off to college, so good for her. But don't worry, I have a great network of some amazing people, and you are in for a treat today. This is someone I can't normally get, but he gave us an hour today, and I am so appreciative. Let's welcome Adrian Hernandez to the show. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, well, I gotta say, I always start the call off saying I'm alive, I'm excited, and I'm full of energy. I'm ready to be here, and uh, thank you for having me on. I'm really excited. Dude, I really appreciate you giving us an hour this Wednesday. Uh, I hope the audience picks up what we're throwing down because we 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 think a lot a lot alike. And um, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that real estate investing, real estate in general, is a people business. Uh, you happen to be one of the founders of Squad Up, which I think is the greatest real estate group uh, out there, just givers and all of that. So uh, why, don't, why don't we talk about real estate being a people business first? Yeah, absolutely. And I apologize. It's cutting in and out. I'm not too sure if it's, I think it's maybe on my end. I hope not. Um, but it got a little choppy there. But in, in regards to the people business, yeah, I mean, what, one thing that I really learned early on was understanding that we have to create a community, right? Just the same way one rental at a time has created a great community, right? Like I see all the photos of the one 500 student deals, right? Yes, I see those everywhere. And it's huge because that's a community. And, you know, for instance, Pace Morby, I think Pace Morby has created such a great community of people. And, and the problem is, and one thing that I found, and I'm, I'm sure you've seen this also, is a lot of people like to hoard the knowledge. They, they learn something and they wanna keep it to themselves, but that doesn't really get us anywhere. It doesn't get us far, right? There's a whole quote, if you wanna, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go with others. And one thing that I learned by hearing that quote, and I heard that quote early on was, I have to build a community. This has to be about the people that are around you. And nonetheless, it also has to be something that you're giving back. Someone once, saved, someone once gave something to you, and I believe it is our responsibility to give that back to someone else, right? Or else why are, why are we doing what we're doing? And that was big for me. So when Ty and I teamed up, we said, dude, how can we, how can we make this the biggest community? How can we make this the, not, not just the biggest, but the community where we have the most amount of like-minded individuals, where we can share ideas, we can bounce back and forth, we can share what, they, what we're doing, they can share what, what they're doing, and we all elevate together versus, well, it's me versus everybody hmm. else, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's so much value in this. And again, I want to applaud you and, and Ty for the squad up because that's leading by example. I've actually, you know, we've been in the game a long time together and I'm actually seeing other communities kind of copy what you're doing. So the greatest compliment I think leaders like you and Ty can have is uh, you're impacting others to do similar squad up activities and, and leaning in and sharing. And I got to admit, man, I, and I think I put this in my book. When I started 20 years ago, I was that guy kind of like diving in, trying to build the master spreadsheet, doing it all by myself with me and my computer. It's not the way to go. Um, it's just not the way to go. That's and people. It, real estate is a people business. It's, it's very little math. Absolutely. And the more people we can have on our, on our corners, the more people we can have in our community, the more we grow, the more our business grows. But nonetheless, guys, this is the biggest key in that, that I found. The more opportunity randomly comes to you because you're serving selflessly, right? There's the, my coach, Dash Nguyen would always say, your compensation is directly correlated to those that you serve selflessly, mm -hmm. right? And it's gonna come from, any, from, from other places, but we have to be able to serve. And the more we serve, it provides some fulfillment it, 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 for me, at least. Like I know when I, when I go onto a call and I'm helping agents or I help a, a wholesaler get a deal, that means more to me than getting a paycheck. Oh yeah. It's a, it's an amazing feeling. And that was really, you know, I had this positive impact score, which led to this contest. It, 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 I'm getting notes daily now. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Just this morning, we sent out seven cards, right? We got seven deals in the last 24 hours. So uh, pretty amazing things to think about, right? Yeah, I saw the picture of the uh, lady who quit her job. Yeah. 
and and that, like that that's what i'm talking about right absolutely it, it, it's it's the it's those conversations it's those testimonials that that really bring out that art of fulfillment we can all go make a lot of money but but we all know people that make a lot of money that aren't necessarily happy yeah and the more people we can put on our side the bet the better that talk or am i am i choppy by, by the, the 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 camera's a little slow but the audio is perfect so the audio is what we care about so we're good yeah. perfect yeah. love it yeah. So one of the things when I think about the people business and the art of giving and what I see you and Ty doing, I really break it down into three aspects. And the first one for me is for the most important. And it's not nothing to do with money. Real estate investing is a long term journey, years, decades. And one of the one of the things you need to realize is it can also be a draining business. Right. I call it battery draining. If you don't have that yep. constant battery charging or the ability to get your battery charged, you're, you're, you're a whisker away from being out of the business, right? Because you can't self-charge. I, I, you know, I am one of the most motive, self-charging, motivated individuals, and I can't do it week in, week out, unless I get those little, those little boosts. And it doesn't have to be a lot. I mean, it's an amazing, a 30-second, I mean, just a DM. Hey, Mike, I got a deal. Dude, you have no idea how much juice that gives me uh, to keep doing you know, three, four videos a day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's that little, you got to watch out. You have people in your life that drain your battery. You have people that charge it, but real estate, you got to be hypersensitive because you, if you have too much battery draining activity, uh, I'm here to tell you, you'll be out of the business in three, six, nine months. Cause you can't self charge in my opinion. Absolutely not. And we see it happen every single day. We see, you know, solopreneurs or guys that go in, they think they can do it all. They want to do it all. And how long do they last, right? A couple of years, maybe, if maybe. that, right? They don't get far. And it, it goes right back to that saying, you want to go fast, great, go by yourself. You're not going to, you're going to go fast, but you're not going to go that far. Right. If you really want this to be a long-term journey, if you really want this to be something that carries on after you, it has to be about others. And I hope that more people, whoever's listening to this, I hope that you can really take this and a lot of people say, well, because I remember myself, I would tell myself, well, I'm not there yet. I can't, I can't teach anyone anything. I'm not there yet. No one's asking you to give them the end result. They want to know what you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Just sharing like, hey, I haven't gotten a deal in 90 days and I've been hitting the phones all day, but something's going to happen. Who else is going through this? Someone else will relate with you. And yeah. when they relate with you, now it connects a sense of synergy. Now it's like, wow, he's, he's just like me. He doesn't have it all figured out. He's learning along the way. And the more we can do that, the more we inspire, the more we motivate, the more we put ourselves up. Because it reminds us, I'm not in this alone. Yeah, yeah. And just to round out the people business aspect. So again, the most important thing, thing for me is that battery charging because you need it in this business. But you brought up also, you will get more deal flow. The more you put it out there, the more people you talk with, the bigger your network is. Uh, the more deals that will come your direction, right? With, without question. But something that shouldn't be forgotten is real estate business has good and bad days. And frankly, while it's nice to talk about the good days, uh, my network has stepped up for me on the bad days, right? Hey, I, I had a broken sewer line or I had something go out on Thanksgiving or you know whatever it is. When you have a solid network, which you are giving to, people will do you favors. My network has bailed me out in emergencies. They've helped me close deals, raise private money, I mean, there's so many ways just appreciating being a giver and, a, and, and it's a people business that you'll go so much farther like that quote. So much further. And then, then you go back to the regular cliche quote, right? Your net worth, your net worth is the direct in proportion to your net worth. Mm -hmm. And I didn't under for the longest time, Michael, I didn't understand that. I'm like, what, what are, what are they talking say? about? <laughs> does that mean I got to go out and network? Is that what they're telling me? Right. <laughs> What does this mean? <laughs> yeah. And then I started to understand it's the community. It's what you're building around you. It's those people that are reaching out to you saying, hey, Michael, how do I buy my first rental? How do I do this? Right. I have right. a job. I don't like my job. How do I how do I make this really work for me? And it's those conversations, guys. So, I, you know, if anything that you guys can take from this conversation is go out there and serve other people selflessly. I'm not asking to take away from your business. Mm -mm. Serve people selflessly. And then I want to touch on something. You said something. The battery drainers. 
stay away from the battery drainers. We know the people, right? We know the people that are, are good for us. We know the people that are going to take what we're giving them, go out and implement it, come back and share with you. You have other people that just take, 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 and take. And before you know it, they'll take all your energy from you. And then they don't even stay in the business. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, and the really sad part is they will celebrate you getting out of the business. How, how rotten is that? They'll right. drain your battery, take you out. And then suddenly your dreams are crushed and they're celebrating. Like, see, I told you I'm like, oh man, that sucks. So we have to have our radar, on, right? We have to have our radar on and we have to be aware of it. And the biggest thing I've learned is get rid of those people as soon as possible. Absolutely. Because if you have a team, if you have a community, it's, it's just like that one bad seed in the crop. It's just a matter of time before your entire crop is affected by that one bad seed. Absolutely. You can have a hundred, you can have a hundred great seeds, but you got one bad one and that's all it takes. Amen to that. Yeah. Again, folks, what we're saying here and something you might want to go back and do is audit your kind of closest network. Cause one of them might be a battery drainer and that's, that's going to, that's going to hurt. So Adrian, this has been a great conversation. How can people follow you and be a part of your world? You're doing so many amazing things. Yeah, absolutely. You guys can just follow me on Instagram. Very simple. It's just at Adrian Hernandez. Uh, Facebook at Adrian Hernandez RE and then YouTube just type in Adrian Hernandez real estate and I'm, I'm getting more active on YouTube I'm actually really taking a, a stance these next six months I've been creating a bunch of content awesome. so I'm really excited about that very cool folks do him a favor he's giving back to us on this busy busy uh, he's, he's a busy man so giving us back an hour so go check him out thanks Adrian thank you Michael appreciate it mm -hmm.